Welcome everyone to Keep It Classy Tech and in this video I'm going to go over some reasons why the LG G1 77 inch is the best gaming TV ever made. So for number one let's start with something that no other TV manufacturer is currently offering and that is four fully functional HDMI 2.1 ports. So here I am on HDMI 4 with my PC with an RTX 3080 running Destiny 2 at 4K 120 Hertz. The 3080 is holding around 100 plus, give or take, frames per second. And with G-Sync enabled, you cannot really tell when there are drops in the frame rate. So now switching over to HDMI 3, I have the PS5 hooked up, also capable of 4K 120Hz, with VRR to be added in an update in the future. And the TV is fully capable of reading it as a PlayStation 5 and putting it into game optimizer mode. So next up is HDMI 2. Currently my receiver is not communicating with it well, but the switch is connected through the receiver. And that's why it says DVD player at the moment, but that'll get worked out shortly. Anyway, the switch really does look quite good on the TV and doesn't really have any special features to support. So let's switch over to HDMI 1 where I have the Xbox Series X and you can see it's running in Dolby Vision and also has Dolby Atmos and it's running at 4K 120Hz, also with FreeSync Premium enabled. So the LG G1 has extremely low input lag of around 13 milliseconds at 60Hz without boost mode and or just under 10 milliseconds with boost mode turned on and around 6 milliseconds at 120Hz. So here in the Xbox you can see FreeSync Premium is enabled and now to show something else kind of cool is that with the game optimizer menu you can set those controls independently for each input. So while I had FreeSync Premium on the Xbox, on the PC I have an NVIDIA graphics card which uses G-Sync. So on this input I can disable FreeSync Premium and just have G-Sync enabled. You can also see that there's a frame rate reader which is nice to have, especially on PC. And now when I switch back over to the PlayStation 5, which does not have VRR, so that can be toggled off. And over here I have boost mode enabled, because the system cannot force 120Hz like the Xbox can. So it is a way of giving it slightly lower input lag without being at the higher refresh rate. And now I'll switch over to the Xbox again just to show that it still has FreeSync Premium enabled. So one thing that the G1 does offer over the C1 is increased full screen brightness. So what that does is especially in SDR or SDR gaming, when some the whole screen is very bright, that's where the G1 will be brighter. And in measurements, full screen is about 25 to 30 percent brighter on the G1 than the C1. And then when it comes to size differences, the 77 inch does come out of the box with a better factory calibration than the smaller sizes. So now something else cool that you can do is enable OLED Motion Pro. If you put it too high, it will do black frame insertion to make the motion much higher resolution. And on the Nintendo Switch, I think it goes very well with those kinds of games. And it gives it almost an old school you know, CRT Nintendo 64 or Super Nintendo type experience while looking more modern at the same time. And I did disable the VRR options just because the Switch can't handle those, but doesn't really matter if they're on or not. So the Switch is only SDR, so that means your peak brightness setting will be disabled in SDR game mode. However, with the G1 with its more relaxed ABL, even games like this do have plenty of brightness for a moderately lit room, even with Motion Pro on high, which does dim the image somewhat, but as you can see, it's still very vibrant and plenty bright enough. And with the Motion Pro enabled, it really does make a pretty drastic difference in the motion. At first, there is a bit of noticeable flicker, but it fades away very quickly, and becomes very difficult to notice while actually playing. And now also because the Nintendo Switch 
is not a 4K output capable system. I'm going to turn up the sharpness to 10, which does add a somewhat AA or anti-aliasing type effect. This is pretty much the only place I would use it. And then you can also see you can access the OLED Motion Pro settings from this menu as well. So everything else pretty much default except contrast I turned up to 97 just to get a little extra brightness for combating the drop in brightness from OLED Motion Pro. But depending on your preference and viewing environment you probably wouldn't need to do that anyway. And I'm just going to reset it back to default 85 when I do calibration anyway. So I'm certainly not very good at Mario Kart, but I also haven't really played it since the Nintendo 64 days either. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to switch back to the Xbox now and just show how even though the Switch is going through my receiver because of eARC or Enhanced Audio Return Channel, I can be on HDMI 1 with the Xbox Series X and output Dolby Atmos bitstreamed audio through HDMI 2 which is the eARC to the receiver and again it all works even at 4k 120 Hertz in Dolby Vision with FreeSync Premium just everything works so that's pretty much the main reasons why the LG G1 is the best gaming TV ever made it can handle anything you throw at it um, I went ahead and put a little bit of the game sound here so you can just hear that it is fully functioning without dropouts. So with the very low input lag and the OLED Motion Pro settings, I'm actually going to be hooking up classic systems as well. My receiver has a component input and can output that over HDMI. Uh, also going to have some HDMI modded classic consoles, so I'm going to test it, but it seems like all your old, old classic games should play great on the G1 and offer a near CRT-like experience. But I will have more on that in the future, so if you like this video, just a reminder to please press the like button as it'll help other people to find it. Uh, pretty much covers everything, so thanks for watching, have a good one.